My name is Lili Nguenya and I work in film and media as a copywriter and a content researcher. Um, in terms of being treated differently from a male counterpart at work, I do know that that's happened to me working in the TV and film industry and even in radio where you're doing the exact same job for the same amount of hours but being paid less or sometimes being asked to do overtime but with no overtime pay. So I've definitely experienced the pay inequality side of the whole gender inequality. Well, I remember I was working on a documentary and I was the assistant producer on the documentary. And I remember that there was an, uh, a second AD and yes, our jobs were not the, obviously the same. We're not doing the same thing. But I remember that I was actually in terms of qualifications more qualified than that person and then came to find out that as assistant producer even compared to my actual producer I was being paid at least five times less but then compared to this guy who was second AD I was definitely being paid at least seven times less than him so that was a little bit like shocking I was like how are we balancing everybody's payments here because that didn't make sense for me personally knowing that I am a film school graduate and there's certain things that I've studied or even just my experience in terms of my CV was definitely a lot more bulkier than some of the people who were on that set. But you know, I guess people hire who they hire and they pay how they want to pay. Um, it definitely didn't make me feel great. Uh, that was in my early 20s and I think from then on I just decided like if I was going to participate or take on certain projects that I was going to fight to be paid what I thought I was worth or you know just not take jobs where I'm not being taken seriously or because I'm a woman I'm expected to work longer hours and still get less pay than the men. Yeah so I don't think there's just one issue that's too pressing. I mean in Zambia we have a lot of cases of GBV, things of, of uh, sexual abuse, rape, all that kind of stuff going on in our society but I think if we're going to try and achieve gender equality or gender balance of any kind what we need to start doing because I see on social media and especially here in Zambia people tweeting or being angry or men saying you're trying to take something away from men I think the thing we have to do is actually get men to understand that we're not trying to take anything away from you what we want to do is like bring ourselves to the same level where you are and be regarded as your equal so women's equality is not it's going to empower women yes but it's not taking away anything from men when you empower women it's just making it a level and fair playing ground better the balance better the world <laughs>